Welcome to Corfu, Greece, a beautiful island known for its stunning beaches, rich history, and vibrant culture. In this video, we'll be sharing the top 10 things to do in Corfu. From exploring the charming old town and admiring Venetian architecture to taking a boat tour to see the stunning coastline and visiting historic palaces and castles. We'll also take you on a day trip to the nearby island of Paxos, take a hike in the lush forests of Mount Pontecrator, and introduce you to the local culture through traditional music and dance performances. Get ready to discover the best of what Corfu Island has to offer. Hello and welcome back to Travel with Dodo. Let's get started with the countdown. Number 10. Exploring Corfu's Old Town. The Old Town of Corfu, also known as Kirkira Old Town, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most well-preserved examples of Venetian architecture in Greece. Visitors can stroll through the narrow, cobblestone streets and see landmarks like the Town Hall, Old Fortress, and St. Spiridon Church. The Liston Promenade, modeled after the Rue des Rivoli in Paris, offers a place to relax at a cafe and watch the world go by. The Palace of St. Michael and St. George, now a museum of Asian art, is another must-see attraction. The old town also offers charming shops selling traditional souvenirs. A visit is a must-do for anyone interested in history and architecture, and a great way to experience the island's rich cultural heritage. Number 9. Corfu Beach Boat Tour. Corfu offers a variety of boat tours to explore its stunning beaches. Visitors can choose from half-day or full-day excursions, or a romantic sunset cruise. Popular options include a tour of the crystal clear water and beaches of Palio Castrizza and a trip to the secluded coves and crystal clear water of Paxos. Another option is a tour to the nearby island of Antipaxos known for its beautiful beaches and rich history as a center of wine production. A boat tour is a must-do for anyone looking to experience the natural beauty of Corfu. Number 8. Visit Corfu's Museum of Asian Art The Palace of St. Michael and St. George, located in the old town of Corfu, is a grand 19th-century building that houses the Museum of Asian Art. Visitors can take a tour of the palace to admire its stunning neoclassical architecture, beautiful frescoes and mosaics, an impressive collection of Asian art. The palace also features a ballroom and gardens with exotic plants, trees, and a pond with fish and swans. A visit to the palace is a must-see for anyone interested in history and art, and a great way to experience Corfu's rich cultural heritage. Number 7. Hiking Mount Ponto Crotor in Corfu. Mount Ponto Crotor is the highest peak on the island of Corfu, offering excellent hiking opportunities with dense forests, diverse plants, and animals. Popular trails include the Summit Trail, which takes around four hours and offers panoramic views of the island and the sea. Another is the Monastery of the Virgin Mary Trail, which takes around two hours and offers a visit to a beautiful monastery known for its frescoes and mosaics. There are also shorter trails leading to beautiful waterfalls such as the Cantogiallo's Waterfall. A hike in the lush forests of Mount Ponto Crotor is a must-do for anyone looking to experience the natural beauty of Corfu and get some exercise. If you're enjoying our list so far, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on the greatest places to travel to. It helps us on our mission to provide our viewers excellent content. Number 6. Visit Mon Repo Palace. Mon Repo Palace is a beautiful 19th century palace located on the eastern side of the island of Corfu. It was once the summer residence of the Greek royal family and is now open to the public as a museum. Visitors can take a tour of the palace, admire the beautiful architecture and decor, and learn about its rich history as the birthplace of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and residence of the British High Commissioner during the British occupation of the island. 
The palace also has a small exhibition of traditional Corfia costumes. A visit to Mon Repo Palace is a must-see for anyone interested in history and art. Number 5. Visit Achillion Palace. The Achillion Palace is a 19th-century palace located on the eastern side of the island of Corfu, built as a summer residence for Empress Elizabeth of Austria CC. Visitors can take a tour of the palace, admire the beautiful architecture, decor, and gardens, and learn about Sisi's life and connection to the island. The palace features a small exhibition of photographs, paintings, and personal belongings of the Empress and a beautiful terrace with views of the sea and the nearby island of Paxos. A visit to the Achillion Palace is a must-see for anyone interested in history and art, to experience the rich history of Corfu and learn about one of the famous visitors of the island. Number 4. Paxos Island. Paxos is a small island located near Corfu, known for its secluded coves, crystal clear water, and picturesque villages. Visitors can explore the charming village of Gaos, the island's main port, and visit beautiful beaches like Mongonissi and Vitumi. The island also has ancient ruins and historical sites such as the ancient city of Paxos. A day trip to Paxos is a must-do for anyone looking to experience the natural beauty of the island and traditional Greek island life. Drop a comment below and let us know which activity you would like to try on Paxos Island. Number 3. Agilo Castro Fortress. The Agilo Castro Fortress is a well-preserved medieval castle located on the northeastern side of the island of Corfu. Built in the 13th century by the Byzantine Empire, it was later used by the Venetians and the British. Visitors can take a tour of the fortress, admire the impressive walls, towers, and gates, and learn about its history from the small museum inside. The fortress offers panoramic views of the sea and the nearby island of Albania. It's a great place for a picnic to catch great views of the sunset. A visit to the Agilo Castro Fortress is a must-see for anyone interested in history and medieval castles. Number 2. Polio Castritza Beach and Monastery. Polio Castritza is a beautiful beach located on the northwest coast of the island of Corfu known for its crystal clear water and its popular location for swimming and sunbathing. Visitors can rent a boat, take a snorkeling trip to discover marine life, and enjoy facilities like sunbeds, parasols, and water sports. The monastery of Polio Castritza nearby offers beautiful views and frescoes, and the area has traditional Greek cuisine restaurants and cafes. Polio Castritza is a must-see for anyone looking to experience the natural beauty of Corfu, relax and enjoy the island. Number 1. Traditional Music and Dance Performances Attending a traditional music and dance performance is a great way to experience Corfu's rich cultural heritage. Visitors can enjoy a variety of performances including traditional music and dance shows, folklore performances, and buzuki shows. Popular options include performances of the famous Corfia dances such as Sosa and Cantata and traditional Greek music concerts featuring popular songs and instruments like the buzuki, guitar, and mandolin. It's a must-do for anyone looking to experience the local culture and customs of the island. The culture and history of Corfu, Greece, is remarkable. Corfu has a lot to offer and we hope you have the opportunity to visit and explore it all. From exploring the charming old town and admiring Venetian architecture to taking a boat tour and seeing the stunning coastline. Taking in the natural beauty of the island with lush forests of Mount Ponto Crator and the crystal clear waters of Palio Castritza Beach. Corfu truly is a destination to add to your bucket list. That wraps up our video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications about our future videos. Until next time, safe travels.